beings of God. You're giving it away. You're not looking me in the eye and you're getting all flesh. Yeah, I'm not looking you in the eye because you repulsed me. Blood. Have you seen these guys? You seen I get off my guys? I'm sorry, get off on your desk? Is that what you're asking? Uh, hi, is this professional staffing? Yeah. Oh, hi, I'm supposed to start work today at 9 a.m. sharp. I'm Jack. Come on in. You the one I spoke with over the phone? Yeah, I'm Steve. Nice to finally meet you. Yeah, good to be met. This is Carla. Hi. Hi, yourself. Let's get you started. Uh, is there a lot of training involved? Well, it's a piece of cake. I'll show you what to do. Have you been working here a long time? Yeah. Time flies around here, right, Carla? Yeah, like my youth. Follow me. Okay. Sit with the guys a couple minutes and you get the feel of the Professional staff. Sit with these guys for a few minutes until you get the hang of it. Professional staff. 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 Yeah, we spoke, we spoke on the phone yesterday. You're in charge of hiring, right? What was your last name? Hanson. Thank you. What kind of trained people do we have? Good morning. Paul DeAngelis, please. Am I looking for a certain kind of business? No. Just Hi, Paul. Just My name's Tom. Love you, good. Professional staffing. Yes, yeah, so are you in charge of hiring? Fantastic, Paul. Yeah, you got to have a lot of names at the end of the day to love you come payday. I'm telling you, seriously. She wants me to fuck her. Right in the ass. Does. Good morning, Mark Solomon, please. And I would too. Hi, Mark. My name is Tom. I'm with Professional Staffing Employment Agency. Are you in charge of hiring for your fuck company? A pussy for a little bit. That's excellent, you Mark. Know, fuck a raw, make a come two, three times, flip her over. Bam. Right in the ass, Tom. I'm telling you, they love that. They fucking just when I'm ready to pop, grab him by the hair, right in the face. That's what they fucking. Love. Who's in charge of hiring, please? I'll hold. Wouldn't she be facing the wrong way? Thank you. Hey, yeah, he's right. What are you, fag? No. Don't even listen no. to him. He's like that all the time. Sean Osbert, thank you. Good morning. Is this Weinstein and Weinstein? Uh, hi. Uh, my name is Jack. I'm yes, this is Tom. Staffing. I work for professional hey, staffing employees. Okay, but who would do the hiring if you were? Hot today. Service? And she wants it. Don't say it. She's okay, but I only date Asian girls yeah. because they know how to treat a man. Oh. Okay. Thanks. Oh, really? Are you dating an Asian girl now? Well, no, not right now. Hi, this is Tom with Professional Staffing. May I please speak to the person? Sean, staffing? what was your last name? Yes, I will hold. What about you? You married? Was. Uh, when will he be back? Hi, my name's Jack. I'm with Professional Staffing. May I speak with whoever does the hiring, please? And his name, please? But I just want the name. Last name? Thanks. Curtis, thank you. So what brings you here? I need money. <laughs> Actually, I had a pretty decent job before this. I was making omelets in the mornings on sets for commercials and movies, but then that ended. So, so what? We just sort of make calls, kind of, but then we still get paid, right? You on movie sets? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've done movies. Oh, yeah? Over 200. What movies have you ever made? Pornos. Hi, this is Tom, a professional I've staff. done porno, mostly porno. I'm porners. sorry, we're yeah. turning a call. Hi, this is Felt. Jack. I'm with... Uh, who does the hiring for your company? Brian Felt. That's me. No? Why not? I was voted Best right. Newcomer of the Year for Thanks. 1988. That is such a... My shit. work in a film called Pornocchio <laughs> and another Tony, film called Panting so of the cool. Opera. True <laughs> story. Did I did too. Uh, Google me. Go downstairs lunchtime. I'll show you some magazines. What time it is lunch? Fuck. Go whenever you want. doesn't matter. We can get a slice of Grimaldi. Does Steve. everybody go? Steve, Carla. No, listen. I was hanging out Times Square, 1988, late 80s. I go into this live sex show. Oh, before Giuliani cleaned it up. Turned right? it into Disneyland. A live sex show, right? I go in. There's a guy and this broad on stage. They're supposed to be fucking. They're having this argument for some reason. What are they fighting about? Fuck, why no? 
She slaps him in the face. He takes off, goes running. She looks out in the audience. She goes, any real men out there want to fuck me? Oh, come on. Come up here and I'll take whoever's biggest. Wow, wow. she sounds really I'm telling nice. you, Asian girls, you can get them to do anything you want and they only do it for you. So a few of us, we go up on stage, drop our pants. In front of everybody? The fuck do I care? I'm looking to get laid. So I'm on stage. She laughs this one guy off the stage, right? Because he's, you know, move, right? He's out. Me and this other guy, big black guy. And it just so happens Come at on. that particular moment, I'm drawing a fucking chub. You're bigger than a black guy. At that mo particular moment, yes. And she picks me. I win. I go, I start fucking hosing her down. But she's loving it, right? She's fucking howling like a fucking alley cat. You know, <laughs> you know tells the boss to hire me. He does. Introduce me, you know, these porno people that come around this sex shop. Next thing, I'm fucking winning awards for fucking. That's awesome, Tony. That's true Amazing. story. Oh, what are you guys God. doing? Oh. Telling sex stories instead of working the phones? Yeah, there he is. <clears throat> Make your calls. Dave, it's your wife. Get on the phone. Fuck you. Get on the phone. What about threesomes? I got one of my girlfriends to do that once and it was awesome. A million times. Hey, what about... Ah, uh, oh, don't worry about him. He's got his own problems. His wife has him wrapped around her little finger. Every time she calls, he gets up and goes running. Wife? Really? What's her name? I don't know. She's got a name like one of my ex-girlfriends. Wait, his threesome girlfriend? No, no, no. The other one. Sunyi, Yoko, No, Poco. Betty. Her name sounds like Betty. Oh, her name is Betty. Who? Steve's wife. Hey, phones! Get on the phone. <clears throat> Put you on the phone. Stevie. Steve's a fucking animal. Uh, Steve, you ever, you ever have a threesome? What if I told you my wife and her sister? Ha <laughs> ha! No way! Oh, wow! Oh! oh your cool. wife and sister-in-law? Where was this? Hey, keep it in your pants, newbie. Just make your phone calls. <laughs> Asian girl Hi, Betty, this huh? is Jack with Professional Staffing. May I please speak with whoever does the hiring? Staffing? I called you yesterday. Yeah, she was a good one for a while. Then she got uppity. Hi, this is Tom Maybe with Professional, professional Staffing. May I please speak to the person in charge of hiring? They all do, man. They all you know, do. We're, we're an employment yeah, agency. For, uh, we, we specialize Boris in the garment industry. Kuvedin? You know, can I just have her name in case we get disconnected? Mm -hmm. Hiram? Sarah Brennan. Cool. Thanks. Uh, can no, you, this one is something else. I'll hold. We've been dating for a couple of months, and I see her out one night at a club. Don't say with it. With another guy. Oh, I said don't say it. So I make like I'm all happy to see her. Oh, what a great surprise, blah, blah, blah. And she's all, hey, Tom, good to see you, too. This is Kim. She's with a chick? Oh, uh, no, Asian guy. Yeah, so I pull her aside, and I'm like, what's going on? She says, what? You never call me to go out. You only ever yeah, call me when you want to come over. Hurry, right? And who's that girl you're with, by the way? You were the chick? Yeah, I told her it was just someone from work. Was it? No, but she didn't need to know that. She can't just assume I'm done with her and go out with other people. Hi, this is wow. Tom, a professional staffing. I need to talk to the person in charge of hiring. Oh, you are? What is your name, please? Sandra. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah, Clark. This is Tony from professional staffing. He's How in long has he been married? Who? He's Steve. What's his last name? Human resources. Whatever. I don't He's know. Just don't worry about Steve. He's not that important. Isn't he? Thank you. I'll hold. Anyway. I get her back to her apartment and I let her have it. Think she can disrespect me? What'd you do? She just didn't get it, so I had to teach her a lesson. Wow. She can't decide for me, but the worst part is that she got a restraining order against me. Because you taught her a lesson? Yeah. A few weeks later, I'm out drinking near her place and I realized I left my radio in, in her charge apartment. Of hiring? So I went over just to get it back. He's in charge of hiring, is he not? I start banging on it, just Fuck. telling her, give me the radio, and she yes. wouldn't do it. She had to go and call the cops on me. You got arrested? Yes. She oh, made me man. miss my father's funeral. I want to pay someone to beat her up, and I want to watch. He's in charge of hiring, right? I'll hold. So I messed around with my wife's sister while my wife watched. Oh! Yeah? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> One day my wife comes to me all in a panic and says, you gotta help my sister. Now keep in mind, her sister is a total fucking snob. Thinks she's better than me, thinks my stupid wife married beneath her. So anyway, I follow the wife into the bathroom and there sitting on the toilet is her stupid bitch of a sister and they're both in hysterics because the string in the sister's tampon has snapped off and now the thing's jammed up inside her. Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> <laughs>
So my wife's in a panic, and she's saying, oh, please, get it, get it. Now, I don't know what to do, so I start reaching around down there. The thing is really up there. So I, I don't know why, I start to rubber clip. Oh, God. You go in there, and you go, you go in there. Now, after a couple of moments of this, she starts to calm down. Yeah. A couple minutes more, she starts to moan. Oh, man. Then she's really moaning. Oh, my God. And she gets all kinds of wet down there. And the next thing you know, the thing pops right out. Oh, <laughs> now my wife's looking at me like I'm some kind of hero, and the whole time she's watching me get her sister off. Oh, <laughs> Is she good looking? Yeah, she's pretty good looking. Sister come over a lot? What the, what the Did you bang her? <laughs> Is she a MILF? <laughs> yeah, the mom's pretty hot. I bet you love Thanksgiving. Did you bang her? Where was this? Where do you live? Queens. Did you bang her? <laughs> no, I didn't bang her. Was your wife rubbing one out? Did she get all wet or something? I mean, oh! you know. <laughs> Tony, I made my wife's sister come in front of her. What more do you want from me? For the story? <laughs> what, what about kids? I mean, were they doing all No. That? We have no fucking kids. I hate kids. I told my wife we do not need to dip into her family's gene pool. <laughs> you, guys, you guys ever do anything to really fuck somebody up? I thought, no, you did, Tom, but what about you, Tim? Uh, not me. Well, one time I fucked a broad. Walking all the way up the stairs. <laughs> up the stairs. That's Fucked it. up to the roof. <laughs> there was this guy once on my block. Yeah, in Brookville? Yeah. Now, I never met this guy, right? But you could tell from his house that he thought he was better than everybody else. The grass was always cut just so, fresh paint on the house, right? Always trying to make me look bad. Fuck so. him. <laughs> I had an ass full of this guy already. Now, I got guard dogs, okay? Two dogs? Yeah, big ones. And these fuckers will bark at anything. I mean, they're awesome. They keep the Puerto Ricans away, right? <laughs> and uh, this guy calls me out of nowhere, like one o'clock in the morning. And he starts feeding me this story. Oh, my kid is sick and my kid needs his sleep. Could you please keep your dogs quiet? I'm like, fuck this guy and his kid. These dogs are doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing. And this guy tells me what to do, like he's better than me. <laughs> fuck him. Fuck Sounds him. like a jerk. Yeah. <laughs> so what'd you do? Got him fired. Oh, oh wow. wow. <laughs> How'd you do that? Well, I find out the guy's a teacher, right? So I call his school where he works anonymously, and I tell them he's been molesting the kids. Oh, no. Oh, that's cold. Now, it took about, I don't know, it took a couple calls, but anyway, I nailed him. It was worth it. <laughs> yeah, you did. I bet you fucked him up good with that one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you suppose he told his kid when he lost his job? Oh, man. I mean, you get something like that stuck on you, chew or not, it's going to start a shit storm. <laughs> you sure can't get another teaching job anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I fucked him up pretty good. And I don't think he did another job because I think his wife left him and she took the kid. Oh, ooh, ooh that hurts. Hardball. That's fucking cold. <laughs> I'm fucking All right, up. enough story time. Seriously, make some fucking phone call. Oh, wait, hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. Let's think about this. I mean, you did go out of your way to make these calls, right? <laughs> this guy's life just went to shit. Now, come on, the principal probably just rolled over to their outraged parents without even bothering to talk to this guy, even to see if it was true. It's not a big deal. Make your calls. Yeah, let's get to work. Well, wait, wait, maybe, maybe it is a big deal. Steve, maybe it is. I mean, think about it. Uh, with the school so quick to judge, maybe the wife starts to wonder. And since he can't get a job, money gets tight, and the stress gets crazy, and the wife gives in to the bullshit, and now he's hit bottom. All right? And, uh, and he's angry, and he's jaded and miserable, so, so the wife wants out. Can't blame her, right? No, but she uses the school business to guarantee quick divorce and custody, and then that just solidifies it in everyone's mind. It must have been true. So what do you think? I mean, it was a big deal, Steve? Do you? I don't know. Make some phone calls. No, no, I think you do know, Steve. I think you do. You call three times just to make sure you got this guy, just to make sure his life went to shit. Don't you think you deserve that? Or didn't you think it through? All right, why don't you get the fuck out of here? Uh, let's think this through to the end, Steve. What do you say? I mean, come on. You ruined this guy's life to the point where he's as dark and twisted as you are. I wonder what he could do to somebody who really pissed him off, huh? I wonder what cause he could make to fuck up your life. And he's got some real shit to be pissed off about, huh? Not just a clean house and yard. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, come on, Steve. I bet you could call your wife, Betty, and tell her how, uh, how you talk about her, the things you say, huh? <laughs> no, no, that wouldn't do it. <laughs> Ah, I wonder what cause he could make to fuck up your life as much as you fucked up mine. My name is John Sorensen, by the way. Look, buddy, I think... All right, I promise you, you do not want to fuck with me right now! Easy. Sit the fuck down! Easy! Sit down! 
Now you are going to call my wife and you are going to tell her. You're going to tell her what you did. She needs to know. And my son, my son needs to know. But I didn't do those things you said I did. Now pick up the phone. Pick up the phone. And then, uh, and then, then we can call your sister-in-law's husband and tell him how much you enjoyed getting his wife off and how giddy you were telling the whole office about it, right? Listen, buddy, why don't you Shut just... Shut the fuck up! Shut the Fucking pussy. Whoa! Oh, fuck. No.